Hi, this is Ozan. I'm CEO of Metrobi. So a couple of months ago, I got, I bought my mother a new smartphone, expecting that it would take less time and effort for everybody. I ordered it online. It turns out that my mother gave me a call crying because she had been waiting for the delivery all day long, but the call center kept telling her that they don't know where it is. So we shop online to reduce pain, and we expect the shopping experience to be frictionless. Indeed, companies have been more or less successful in making the online purchasing experience very smooth. But the delivery is still, most of the time, a problem. Currently, businesses make the plans for the delivery daily in the morning with manual tools or with static tools. And we can easily imagine those plans do not work anymore after an hour because a driver gets stuck in heavy traffic, a delivery takes double the time expected, or a customer cancels the order. As a result, planners spend a lot of hours on the phone to reroute the deliv deliveries while the customer is at home unhappily waiting. After my master's degree from MIT, this is my third startup, and with five people from industry, we solve this problem for ourselves and for all of us. So we take the delivery request for the day and make a delivery plan. As opposed to other solutions, we constantly update those plans, taking into account real-time situations like traffic, customer preferences, delays, cancellations, and so on. With our mobile app, the driver now gets the most up-to-date delivery plan with instant navigation. With the website, the planner gets a dynamic plan that she can further adjust. And with the notification system, we tell the customer when the delivery is going to happen. Now we can easily see how even the delivery part of online shopping experience well, can be an like, almost pleasant experience. So by doing so, companies reduce their operational costs up to 30%, and planners free up as much as 80% of their time, and we substantially increase customer satisfaction. We make money by offering a cloud-based software as a service solution. And our target customers are e-commerce companies, local delivery businesses, and companies with sales or maintenance teams. Of course, there is competition. But what is available right now is either large enterprises offering static and expensive solutions or startups that focus on customer, planner, driver communication. We are kind of alone in affordable, real-time delivery management market. Accounting the segments, it is a 7.2 billion market with 15% annual growth rate. We have completed our solution, and the reaction from industry is great. We have been working with one of the national largest e-retailers, and even PNG by themselves contacted to us to learn about our solution. Our main goal for next year is integrate to Salesforce to accelerate our growth. And currently, we are raising seed funding. Thank right, you for uh, listening. We, we ran out of time. Oh, yeah, thank you. So now it's time for the questions. Where are you based? Uh, we are in Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. So you said it yourself, of course, there are competitions, so that means execution is, is key. Uh, yeah. Give us some, some number on your traction or execution that, that we can really believe that you're doing great. Sure thing. So in terms of our traction, from day one, we started developing the solution with customers. Like we work with the e-retailers. And so we, like for the last two years, it has been two years, and we developed the solution. And right now, we, if we, we, we went to almost like 50 companies, and 10 out of eight asked for a demo right away in the first meeting. And right now, we have a private equity company that wants to bring us to their companies. And there is a, there is like a shipping company that we are doing like field trials right now with them. And the e-commerce company is using it. There are two courier companies that are adopting the solution. And we also have two on-demand companies that ship fresh goods. And this is only in two, three months. How, how are you going to scale in the countries that have a different system than Turkey, for example, at the moment? I, I couldn't get it. So. How, how are you going to scale up to countries that have a different logistical uh, uh, system than Turkey has at the moment? Right. So the, 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 the key is actually like this part of logistics, what they call it last mile, is actually the same all around the world. So this is where the most painful part is, and this is where like the Amazon handles the same day delivery part, and the trucks take the deliveries and distribute it, and the maps are everywhere, and we have we we work with a mobile phone application, and our system works everywhere, and we are going to integrate with Salesforce and other CRM tools. So it's we from day one we 
go for the global global solution. Do, do you connect into existing um, like dispatch systems, for instance, or do you replace dispatch systems? So yes, so we are we are actually integrating to ERP. Right now, we started with the last mile, the last part of delivery. So our goal is to integrate with ERP and CRM because this is where the planning starts actually. And uh, right now, like we are working with state to integrate into Salesforce, say. Like. But, but, but I'm thinking if you have drivers, there is some kind of order management, like a dispatch system. And okay. or, are, are you that, or do you integrate okay. into existing I systems like so that? So we can actually divide the driver cycle into two. One is on the road, one is with the customer. We are interested in the road part. Like instead of Google Maps, they are going to use our navigation. So when they arrive, the customer, they can use their own like order management or service management apps. So we are going to be helping them in during the road, mm. like road journey. But if, because if you're, if you're a driver, most likely you have some kind of mobile device, and then right. you get new order, deliver this thing from here to here. Right. Uh, do, do I have, so are you like a navigation it, solution, or are you that solution? Yes, I am. The, we are the solution. We, we take it and we like, automatically create the plan, and we give the driver. The driver doesn't even realize. Like, we, we show them the directions. And Understood. We it. And the driver says, I, I've delivered it in your Yes. When, when he delivers, he says, I delivered it. There are so many last mile optimization solutions, so what is your competitive advantage? So what, what we do, do different is those tools are usually static. What it means like they make a plan in the morning, and they assume that things are going to go the same for the whole day. A lot of it is real time these days, though. Real time optimization. Uh, I think like this is called dynamic, but even them like they they need to be triggered say like time to time. But what we do is like we are integrated with the mobile apps, so we take the locations and we like we don't need any manual like triggering or anything. This is what happens with the other tools. So with mobile app, we tell that the driver is late, we tell that there is traffic, and we constantly make a plan like we replan it. And uh, thank you very much, Hassan. So this was the time we have to All move thanks. on. Let's give a big hand.